Good day, my name is Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Now today we're going to be harvesting these three bags of spuds. This is what I planted in those three bags of spuds. Now I planted this one on the and these last three I called Nicole. I, that's the way you I pronounce it. Now, Nicole, I don't know what well, this way. <laughs> there is. I have to check my little book for this one. And I wrote them all down in the book as well. And we've got 14 plants here in three bags. Third of the 7th, 2016. Today's date is the 19th of the 11th, 2016. So just over four months. Um, as you can see, the, all the tops have died off. Um, in these in these three bags, there's 14 spuds are planted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these, put them into the trailer, each bag, and um, just go through the total amount of spuds because I'm not quite sure how how many I've put in each bag. So I know the total of 14. I think I put five. Be five, five, four then. Uh, that I uh, don't know how much. I think that one had five in. I think. Or four, I can't remember. So I'm going to grab all three, and we'll um, we'll take them out today. I do hope you like this video, and if so, please subscribe. Okay, welcome back. There are all the um, three bags of spuds I'm going to do. Well, when I empty them all and sort them all out, I'm going to start putting back in my putting. I'll put back the good quality stuff. It's all into there. We'll also make a wheelbarrow of. Um, uh, what is it called? Premium potting mix, um, cow shit, um, mushroom compost, and chicken manure mix up together and put it again on the top so we can put new plants in like tomatoes. So, without further ado, let's get started. It's actually, not a bad day today. It's going to be hot on Mon Monday, about 37, I believe. Any tags I find like these, I'm going to keep. Um, so I know I can reuse them again. But I can also know that I've, I can, um, what do you call it? I'm not just use them again, but I can also um, yeah, know what, what was planted with. Don't know if that's going to be any good anymore, but uh, oh no, it doesn't feel any good. That's another seed one. I don't think I'll worry about the seed ones. They've done the job. Um, yeah, they can still be eaten too. Now, yeah, that's what you call a worm. It's a big bugger. I don't think I have to do much at all to this bag at all. If anything, I might. Yeah, I don't think I'll do much at all. That's perfect. That soil is still good. I'll probably put some more um, stuff with it. I'll put a couple of bags with it. And I'll probably put another bag of compost with it and some extra shit and stuff like that. 
a quick count of this. Oh, we've got all of them together. I'm going to get the rake and move all this out of the way. I'll be back. Okay, bag number two. Found the tag. <laughs> Next time I'm going to put uh, when I planted them and how many I planted in each bag. And also make a note on paper. Back to bag number three. Ah. There's the tang I had. Okay, now that's what we got collected so far. <laughs> I'm going to count these and then uh, we'll go from there. I'll tell you how much, and then I've got to fix up this soil again. Probably put some extra stuff into it, mix it up together. I'll probably take the tarp out because it'll be easier because I can mix it properly then without ripping the tarp. I should have thought about that earlier. <laughs> but anyway, I'll count these and uh, we'll go from there, shall we? Okay. Okay, I counted roughly what 71. I and mean, if you include the other one there it'd be 72 out of three bags. Now that's a particular brand I put into there. So even if we've got, say, it rounds out to, say, 60 because of the size difference and stuff like that. That's 20 per bag. Um, so if you're looking at 5, 10, say, 4. Yeah, it's not bad odds. Um, so I'm thinking at least 20 per bag. One bag I didn't get that much in. One bag I got a lot in. So and the other bag I got a reasonable amount in. Anyway, um, I do hope you like this video. So please subscribe. Um, 
Yeah, that was pretty easy, pretty fun. Uh, now I've got to make up another batch of um, soil to go on to the bags again. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Now, trail is empty, almost empty, there's only a little bit left. Those bags, those three bags of um, spuds, I mixed with one bag of premium potting mix, quarter bag of mushroom compost, quarter bag of cow shit, and a bale of, of so it's like a, a decent amount of, um, like a scoop, like a, um, of um, chicken pellets. Now I've made them to these four bags. They're, I'm exactly happy with those because when you put the tomatoes in, you can put stakes around the edges to keep the bags open so the water comes in and the wind doesn't blow them, uh, blow it out. I found a couple more little bits of spuds and put them with. Um, Oh, I found a couple of little bits, but I found some other spuds and put them in there. So I'm saying a eh, decent amount. We've had at least 70, say 73, 74 spuds for 14, which is not too bad. I average out, say, 60 because of, um, because of, uh, like, the small spuds. So now I've got that area there clean. I've got to work on the other ones in a minute. But I'll quickly show you what are we doing for tea tonight? There's a gentleman's birthday, he turns 90 today. So there's the mushroom compost and that. And the cow poo. Actually, I can't really sh Oh, okay, we'll have a quick sneak peek at it. We shouldn't. Um, yeah, it's been sitting there for four hours. I shouldn't really look at it, but we're going to. We'll have a quick look at the food temperature. Which oh, is. 178. I've got it set for 185. Let's have a quick look at it. Oh, look at that. I'm about to turn that over. When it hits um, 185, I'm going to turn that over and continue cooking it. And then I'm going to take it out and wrap it in silver foil. And the uh, towel put it into a cooler. So. Oh yeah, this is the other garden here over here. Got to get the weeds out of here. But in here, still working on this one. Getting it, I'm just going to put some tomatoes in here. She's going to work on, work a magic, put it there. When when all set and done, I'll put stakes there and I'll put stru um, the, um, what do you call it, straw there. It's sugar cane. And cover that with sugar cane. Anyway, my name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia, signing off. Thank you again for watching my videos and all comments are welcome. You all have a great day now.